By now, many of us have seen the viral clip of a lawyer who got stuck with a cat filter on during a Zoom court hearing. However, this has caused some confusion because Zoom does not actually have a built-in cat filter. In this video, I'll show you how to get one. Now, Zoom does have some built-in video filters and effects. You can access those by clicking on the up arrow next to the stop video button, then selecting choose video filter. This will give you a range of filters you can choose from, like adding sunglasses, and you can also click this studio effects link in the bottom right to do other things like add eyebrows or change the color of your lips. However, you'll see that there is no cat filter if you scroll through all of these. To get that, you need a third-party app like Snap Camera, which is made by the company that makes Snapchat, which you can download onto a PC or Mac from their website. Once you've installed the Snap Camera app, make sure you close Zoom first, then open Snap Camera, and it will give you a range of filters you can choose from. Use the search bar to search for a cat if that's what you want. The next time you start Zoom, you may get this cannot start video warning because the Snap Camera app is hogging your webcam. Close that, then go to your video options and select Snap Camera under the camera settings. When you turn your video on, you'll have the Snap Camera filter in your Zoom meeting. Of course, the thing to watch out for, and what's probably happened to that lawyer, is that if you close Zoom and rejoin, it will now default to the Snap Camera. So if your kids are borrowing your computer and you have to use it for work the next day, you'll need to make sure you turn this off before you join. To demonstrate that, I'm going to end this Zoom meeting, start a new one, And again, you can see it went back to the Snap Camera filter by default. So what's potentially confusing to someone who doesn't know about the Snap Camera app is that there's no way to turn this off from within Zoom. Again, this is probably what happened to that lawyer. If you think this is a Zoom video filter and you go in here to your Zoom video filter settings, this is set to none. So you might not understand why you look like a cat if you don't have a filter selected from within Zoom. To get rid of this completely, I need to close the Snap Camera app and then select my regular webcam in Zoom. You'll see if I try to go back to the regular webcam before closing the app, it doesn't work because the Snap Camera is currently hogging the app. So instead, I'm going to go to the Snap Camera app, close that. Now when I start my video in Zoom, I should get my regular face back. However, there's one more thing to watch out here just within Zoom, independent of third-party apps. You might notice that my lips are looking a little redder than usual. If you remember earlier in the video, I turned on that studio effect for red lipstick and I never turned it off. Even though I have closed and restarted Zoom several times, that filter was persistent and stayed on. So even if you don't have third-party camera apps installed, if your kids are using your computer with your Zoom account, you might want to double check and make sure those filters are off before you log into your meeting. If this is the first one of my videos you've watched, I have a ton of other tutorials about teaching and learning online with Zoom. You can find a link to that playlist somewhere here on the end screen. And if you have a question or a suggestion for another tutorial, please go ahead and leave a comment below this video, and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you.